Two of the most common questions we get asked are, what happens to my outdoor inoculated mushroom logs in the winter time when it gets cold? And another one is, how long can I keep my indoor kit before I have to use it? Well, I chose this beautiful Colorado day in the, in the mountains and with the snow to answer both of those questions. So the answer to the first question, what happens to my logs when it gets cold, can be answered by just looking around out here and looking at what nature has done for uh, ages is dormancy. They just go into dormancy, they go to sleep, their metabolism slows down, and they wait for the snow to melt, the, the temperatures to warm up, and they come back to life. And uh, two months ago, we are in the end of November, uh, just two months ago, this entire area was covered with hundreds and hundreds of mushrooms and uh, dozens of different species and thousands and thousands and millions of miles of mycelium and it's all not the mushrooms they've all you know decomposed but the mycelium it's still here it's just asleep and uh, right here it's just a very simple example the ground just below them you see all of the white not the snow but the white underneath it that's the mycelium that is dormant you can even see some that is on the log itself. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, when you very first, and this is only the beginning, when you first start a log, when you first inoculate it, you want about six week window of time where it doesn't freeze. You want that mycelium that you put in there to take hold and establish itself so that when the winter comes it can go dormant. So winter time is not a good time to an first inoculate, but once it's taken hold, they'll, they'll be fine.